a lot of times we try to warn, you know, our audience about be careful what you're eating because what's going into the food is harming our health. Now, states like California has recently came out to ban food dyes. Food dyes is not needed. Food dyes is something that could be adverse to your health. And we want, you know, our people in particular to be healthy. And we can, we can be healthy by avoiding certain foods. And let's look at on the screen what the food dyes could actually do to you, which was put out. Now they say yellow number six, look for these on, on the label. So yellow number six, it says linked to adrenal tumors in rats and suggestions could cause hyperactivity, which you don't want that with your kids. And they got things like, you know, tricks and things like that on here. Yellow five, yellow six. It says it can cause DNA mutations in white blood cells within three hours. That's not good. Titanium dioxide. Is linked to lung cancer in rats when airborne, but disputes over evidence. But the fact that titanium dioxide is linked to any kind of sickness is wrong. Blue number one concerns cause could, could cause kidney tumors and damaged nerve cells. Okay, and they point things like Oreos here. Just think about what you're eating. Red number forty. It said in Europe products must carry a warning label. So in Europe, they were smart enough to say, Hey, you know what? We need to protect our people. They say just food dyes in general linked to cancer and hyperactivity. Now we're looking at all these explosion of cancers and a lot of this is linked to the food yellow number five in, in this stuff, right? Cancer cells grow faster when exposed according to a study. Red number 40 contains benzene, which is linked to blood cancers, in particular leukemia, and may cause hyperactivity. What we're saying here, ladies and gentlemen, is to look at what you're feeding your children. And there are foods out there that don't have food dyes. They, they have foods out there that are uh, colored with vegetables, actually. Uh, vegetable and fruit coloring. They actually have that. Um, I say try to get your children organic, stick to organic foods. Um, look for those ingredients on, on any kind of food you're eating. Um, let's give our children more, you know, fruits, you know, for sweets. Um, if we want to make something, you know, cookies or things like that, don't get the packaged cookies like that. Um, I, I would say go to, to good stores and good, you know, places like, you know, if you can go to a Whole Foods, if you can go to a whatever, you know, like I said, maybe Sprouts, if you have that sort of thing, whatever kind of health um, grocery store you may have in your area, even you may have to drive to go to it. It's better to, you know, like I was told a long time ago by a doctor, is it is it's much cheaper to spend money on better food and exercise than to spend money trying to treat yourself uh, because you had a stroke. You say strokes is 80,000 to a hundred thousand dollars. A lot of times hospital bill, it won't be that much of food in the gym bill. Understand cancer costs a lot more than getting good food for your children. You understand, um, dealing with hypertension. If you can prevent this, a lot of times you can't prevent it with food, food. Listen, 90% of the illnesses in the United States of America is linked to food. Doctors have said this over and over and over. And in my opinion, it's criminal what these politicians are doing because we have doctors in this country saying, Hey, wait a minute. All these sicknesses are linked to the food. It makes me believe that the FDA, whether, whether it's Republican control, Democrat control, don't matter. Both sides of the aisle don't care about the health of Americans. I believe they getting money from the pharmaceutical companies and they getting money from the food companies. Now, the food companies basically poisoning us, making us sick. So they make it, and they, and they, they put, let me tell you something. They put so much fake sugar, high fructose corn syrup in food to get you addicted to it. Do you know like a sugar type of addiction is worse than a cocaine addiction? Do you know that? Because at least if you get caught with cocaine or something, you'll go to jail. You're not going to go to jail being caught with food. 
You know what I'm saying? And that food is addicting. They put chemicals and preservatives in that food to get you addicted to eating it. And I'm going to tell you what else happens. Those chemicals induces hunger when you're not really even hungry. Cause I'll never forget normally in the morning, I never wake up hungry. I may wake up hungry at blue moon, but I don't wake up the starving like crazy. Like, like just like I haven't eaten in a week. I mean, one time I had ate some cookies and the next morning I was like, why the hell I'm so hungry like this. And like, it just hit me like that's that, that's that uh, cookie you ate. And that's why I don't even like to eat stuff like that. No, I eat my normal foods like my oatmeal and, 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 and the different things that I eat, you know, no, I, I, I'm fine, but I can't eat certain things. No, like I make sure my, you know, my fruit is like, you know, a, a banana because Hey, it got potassium in it. Especially if you a black person and, and, and if you had to deal with high blood pressure, a lot of reasons I block high blood pressure, it happens to black Americans in this country is through, you know, environment and food. It really is. And a lot, and not, you can control about 75% of it with food and exercise. Of course, you got to exercise as well. Of course, you got to, you know, work on your weight too. I mean, especially in this country, it's very hard, but you got to fight. You got to work for it. But it's criminal what's happening. So the food companies is poisoning you, making you sick. Then the pharmaceutical companies are giving you a pill or injection or whatever they're giving you, right? They're giving you. And they're making money hand over fist because they're not curing you of anything. You see everybody now on Ozempic. Okay, let, let's go to the link of why everybody's getting on Ozempic. Obesity. Why is people dealing with, you know, rampant obesity in America? Because of the food. There are people that sit up here and eat rice all freaking day. It's them, oh, it's all the carbs. Well, they got Africans. I go to there. The African continent, they eat rice all the time. They're not walking around being obese. There are a lot of Asians. They eat rice all the freaking time in their countries. They're not walking around with obesity and they eat rice every day. So how is it they're eating those carbs? But in America, they, they strip the fiber out of everything. This is why fiber is very important for you, ladies and gentlemen. You got to prioritize fiber because they strip the fiber out of the food so you can eat more. Because when you have a lot of fiber in food, you don't eat as much. Well, to the corporate uh, corporate people, hey, putting fiber is taking away money. So let's strip the fiber out of this food that we're make, giving them so they can eat more. The more they eat, the more they're spending. You understand? It's wicked. It's completely wicked. But those people, the politicians, the people who run the pharmaceutical companies, the people who run the food companies, They'll feed you all that mess, but they go into Whole Foods. They go into Sprouts. They're growing their own food. They have people cooking them healthy options. They're not, they're not uh, eating that trash. They wouldn't even drink that trash. You know what I'm saying? That, that this is the truth. This country is extremely wicked at what they do to the people. And, and the people got to take a stand against that. With the laws that they put in in California should be the law of the land. No food dies at all. No titanium dioxide at all. I'll never forget a video I watched of a doctor that says if your food has more than five ingredients in it, they say, don't eat it. You say, if it had one or two, even better. You know what I'm saying? We got to take, we have to take more responsibility about our own health because like I said, especially us in the black community, it's too many of us passing away with, with heart disease, uh, 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 diabetes and different things like that. Right. If the police was, was taking our life like these diseases were, we would be out in the streets. Look, look, we was, look, we was out in the streets with George Floyd. That's one person, but heart disease and diabetes and all that do that were a lot worse than, than that. Right. Taking a lot more of us out of day than, than what happened with George Floyd. We, we as parents got to take extreme responsibility or what we feed our children. Like I don't even, we, me and my wife don't even buy fruit juice in here. No, I go, I go and get water for my children. Water. Now I go, I go get alkaline water, but we go get water for, and my kids love water, love it. And, 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 and they continue and, and, and give your children more water than giving these kids, you know, Coca-Cola and all that things like that. Then if you drink Coca-Cola, it's so sweet in this country 
The only time I drink a Coca-Cola, unless I'm outside the country. Like when I was in South Africa, I did drink a Coca-Cola, but it's no high fructose corn syrup for number one. It's actually real sugar. And number two, um, the carbonation isn't as strong. I like that. Number three is not as sweet. That's what I love about drinking any, any of those soft drinks outside the country because of that. You couldn't pay me to put a Coca-Cola to my mouth in this country or a Sprite or any of that mess. No, it's, it's not happening. It's not. So we just got to be careful, ladies and gentlemen, with our food and, and, and watch and take care of our families because this, this government is not going to do it. Your politician is not going to do it. These food companies surely not going to do it unless they're forced to. And the pharmaceutical companies, they just want to sell you more Ozempic. You know what I'm saying? Using basically a, a chemical medication concoction to force your body not to eat anything when really it's normal for you to eat. It's just the type of food that we eat in this country triggers obesity.